Right, it's something a little bit different from us today. This is a system that we don't actually sell, but we uh, stumbled across it and uh, have been sent one and we're really impressed with it. So we thought we'd do a video, explain how it works, what it is and the uses and benefits and where it came from. So this is the Ovano or Ovano. Oh, I don't know there's a, an ex exact pronunciation, depends which part of the country you come from, but for me it's Ovano. So this is the Switch XL. So they do two versions. They do the Switch and the Switch XL. So basically it's a storage system, come bed, tool, hider, kind of multi-purpose really. So the idea was we wanted something to go in the back of our 6.1 that was practical. I want to be able to camp on it when we go to shows and also store stuff in, take stock in and be multi-purpose and multi-use. I have four children so I need to keep the seats go on past <laughs> I have uh, yeah four children so I also need the ability to have the seats in the back so you still use it as a combi uh, and want to be able to utilize the space in the back properly it's a father and son business Josh and Nick um, they came up with the idea because they're both joiners by trade and they were carrying tools around in the back of their van it's harder to access the tools if they're at the back of the van they want to be able to bring the tools towards them and also um, be able to hours later uh, but and also, and also be able to hide their tools so when the tools are in the tray here you can't see them if you look through the window so kind of multi-purpose in that respect and obviously they need to be able to carry a lot of weight because tools can be really heavy and finally because josh is a bit of a surfer or weekend surfer so he wanted to be able to use his work van for work but also to be able to camp in it and uh, sleeping it overnight if he's going surfing so that's where the idea came from this is like the fourth revision until they're happy with it they've made some alterations and changes over the way i'm really really impressed with it the quality of it the build of it how it works how it sits the functionality of it is not like anything i've seen really um really Im impressed with the whole setup so this is the switch xl so the switch xl is a full width the whole drawer comes out it takes up the space in the whole width of the van they also do the switch system which is a shorter drawer and it kind of comes to about here you'll see pictures of it on the website and then the, the section on that side is completely open so if you want to store a surfboard in it it can go all the way through the the standard uh, switch as opposed to the xl seems to be good with a two plus one seat setup so you can remove the single seat still have the double in and then you've got the space there to pass it through but have a look on their website and you'll get some more details to explain the difference so we're just going to take you through the functionality how it works what it does the build quality how you install it and then the different setups and the different layouts you can have it in the material it's made from so it's phenolic but i think say say it phenolic birch ply so it's really tough durable uh, quality birch ply it has this coating the phenolic coating on it which is used in lots of uh, materials now lots of stuff that needs to be strong and waterproof they use it in trailers they use it in uh, outdoor displays and stuff um, it's not cheap at all but it is really good quality kind of has a grip texture to it and it's really nicely finished double-sided as you could see right so this is the point where I'll bring Blake in because um, he understands a lot more about this kind of stuff he's a joiner by trade whereas I'm just a numpty by trade when I first showed it to Blake most importantly he was like that's with his joiner background he was like that really impressed with what a great bit of kit it was how well it was built how strong it was put together the quality of the finish and he'll kind of explain why there we go so uh, as Andy's mentioned it's a good durable ply first thing I noticed is the ironmonger decent ironmonger no just like cheeky screws and hinges also it's coming down together a lot stronger than just screwing a, a unit like this together just well finished in general uh, these rails here uh, are just super strong it was amazing but, um, we've, i've never seen anything that, that can carry that kind of weight for that length of distance of how far the drawers can come out they suggest that they can take 180 kilos spread across the whole thing. I mean, you wouldn't want to put that all in one corner. I know the guys at Ovano, Ovano have had 300 kilos in there and it's been fine. Not that they would suggest that you did that, but yeah, 180 kilos is still a hell of a weight. So we'll probably fit it in a van and start jumping up and down on it to test that theory. But we're just going to do a quick video now to show you how we install it and or how it's installed and the different setups and ways you can have it. So to start with, we're going to install it in the van without any seats in to show you how you can utilize uh, the legs that work and then after that we'll also show you how to use it if you're if you're keeping your triple combi seat in yeah so once you've got it in it's just a case of lining these up with the original holes the original anchor points are in the vehicle you've got two at the back here and the two at the front are underneath the drawer so from here you'll bolt the two at the front down first just to hold it for when you open the drawer to get to the two at the bottom here. This is the 
bolts. So those bolts are supplied with the bed. Yeah, just put the front two bolts in finger tight and then come round to the back bolts. You need to open the drawer. All the way out. And the other two bolts are located. And they should just move around and find the original bolt hole. Just one. Two. Right, so once you've got the base in, the next stage is to fit the top back in. You can come in from this way or come in from the sliding door. So that just lays back in and goes into the original fixings. And then lay the second piece in. And then just fix it all back down in reverse to the way it was taken out. Right, so that's it, all nice and in, fixed in place. Dead simple. How long would you say that takes? 10 minutes tops. Yeah. So uh, it's really nice and, and stiff. It's not rattling around. It's not moving. These legs are helping that, uh, helping it keeping it all locked in place. And you've got those locking pins just under there. And if you want to stand in that lake, you can see how strong that is. Don't it's, forget uh, the thumbs up. Can take plenty of weight. Like I said, up to 180 kilos with the weight spread. Although those guys have put 300 kilos in, but don't say I said that. Easy access is a flap just here that lifts up. So you can get to stuff without needing to open the drawer if you want to. Uh, and from there we'll show you the function. So this is like a two-way storage. Wait for the helicopter to fly over. Yeah, so this is like a split level storage. You can obviously store stuff in this area here. And this is going to stop anything from sliding around. And then we'll show you how you use this to make it become a bed and also a bulkhead. So that's it all installed. Now you can see we've not got our seats in at the moment, but we'll show you how it works with the seats in. So the next stage would be to convert it so that the back section is used as a full bulkhead. So to do that, you remove the two supporting legs just here. You can see they've got little ball runners on there. Let's put them under there for now. Uh, you've got the two latches under here that we'll need release in. So that now slides out and becomes a full bulkhead. So if I take you around the other side, you can see these legs uh, stopping it from coming forward so it sits straight back at a right angle. And then it's got this cord here that wraps around the support there and that keeps it locked into place and it's surprisingly strong. Um, so that now is a full bulkhead. So obviously you could still obviously do that with the, the three chairs that sit in there. And from there, so now full bulkhead, you've got your under storage and all this space here for it. So many activities! It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. So the next mode for the switch is the bed mode. So we'll show you that next. The supporting legs that hold it up in the, the V shape and now can be used for legs for the bed if you don't have a chair in it. You don't need to use these if you don't have, if you already have a, a bench seat or two plus one or whatever seat setup you've got, but these can be used if you don't want to use it as a combi with the combi seats, but still want to be able to use it as a bed. So you just undo the cord and feed that over. As Blake's about to do, lay the bed down. Like so, and then these two supports. Then become your bed. Nice and solid and sturdy. Yeah. You like black and So we've just fit the triple, this is the triple bench in this one. They work just the same if you've got the three single seats that some T6.1s have, or also if you have the two plus one, you can obviously remove the single seat if you need to on a two plus one, or the late T6 and T6.1s completely fold flat. But that then can become the base for your bed, so you don't need the extra leg supports, as Blake will show you here. And that's it, that's good to go, that's uh, ready to sleep on. Yeah, so that's an example of it, fully loaded, tools, bit of camping gear. So this is the, probably the setup similar to we'll have. Roll up mattress there, always carry a set of solos with you. Just nice and heavy, just to show you an example. 12 volt fridge, we're gonna stick a 12 volt adapter in the back here, just so we can keep running a fridge while we're at the shows and stuff. Uh, and then yeah, roll up mattress. So if you pop that up, mattress out, out Blake, and stick it on the top. Yeah. And there you go. 
work van slash day van slash surf van slash demo kit carrying van the whole lot So price, this system and the uh, standard switch, not the XL, are both 14.99 for short wheelbase vans and then it's an extra 100 for the long wheelbase. Kind of sounds like a lot of money and initially when you just first look at it you think there's a bunch of ply, 1500 quid is a lot of money but actually when you look at it, look at how well it's been built and the development that's gone into it, I think it's a really fair price. It's a great bit of kit, it's clearly going to last and age the materials are used for outdoor displays and trailers and you know they can, it can handle all weathers and all conditions. Um, the, I mean, we looked into it briefly. The, the runners alone are a couple of hundred quid, so you start adding that up and, and everything else that goes into it. I don't think it, it's a bad price at all. Like I said, father and son company, they've got a lot of passion in it. It's a product that they built because uh, it was suited their purpose. It certainly suits my purpose, and again, a lot of other workmen, tradesmen that need to use their vehicle and also want to use it for a day van. Um, it's, it ticks all the boxes for us, so hopefully you uh, think it's useful and you might be interested. Uh, any questions? Ask us and we'll answer what we can. Or drop the guys a message at Ovano, uh, or Ovano UK I think, if you're looking for the, their website. We'll, we'll post the link down here. Um, yeah, great bit of kit. Thanks for watching and more videos coming up later in the week. Uh, we've got a couple more finished ready to upload, so as always like. Uh, share with anybody that might be interested in this kit uh, and also uh, subscribe and click the little bell so you get notifications when we launch a new video. Thanks again.